Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Backfire Gun Vault. Today we're talking about the best thing ever. You guys know I love cheap guns and we are going to talk about them. We've got to start this list with this one because in my video that I did uh, three or four months ago, the best guns under $300, I, I neglected to mention the Mossberg Maverick Model 88. This gun just really hasn't been on my radar. I've seen them, but just never really paid much attention. And it's a really impressive gun after you guys mentioned it in the comments. Had to get one. The Mossberg Maverick 88 is really known for reliability. It's compatible with a lot of the same, you know, stocks, not the forend, but stocks, barrels, and choke tubes as the more expensive Mossberg 500. I've never shot the Mossberg 500 real well. For whatever reason, it just doesn't fit me as well. Um, but this thing is awesome. It's super reliable with dual extractors. It's made where I was born, the great state of Texas. That's a heck of a gun and you can get it for $250. $250 bucks is worth it just for the sound effect. Forget the fact that it's a really reliable gun. Mossberg Maverick Model 88. Bergara announced this year the Bergara B14 Squared Crest. Lots of names in there, but it's essentially taking this stock. This is the Bergara HMR stock. This one happens to be on a 22, but often this is on, you know, the HMR rifle with, um, and it has a lot of really nice features. It's extremely rigid, has a very vertical grip here, a flat forend. It's a modern stock design to help you shoot well. The problem with the HMR is it's kind of heavy. And so the B14 squared crest takes this, these stock lines and makes them out of carbon fiber. It's a really cool looking gun. It just, when you touch it and shoot it, feel it, it just feels like a nice gun. The cool thing is it's priced at $1,700. Now that may not be, seem like bargain bin cheap until you could put it against the competition for a carbon fiber stock and modern stock lines with a good quality Bagara barrel and an action, it's going to rival guns that cost twice that price. The Bagara B14 squared crest is definitely on my list for this year and it's available in 300 Win Mag, which I need in my life. Thanks Aura for sponsoring today's video. Look, it was April Fool's Day this year and I must be becoming more of a fool with age because my teenage sons wreaked havoc in my life. I went to my computer to sign into the Backfire YouTube channel and every single video was a Nicolas Cage meme. I was terrified. I called my wife over. We were changing passwords and everything until my son came behind us laughing. But it helped me to realize that fortunately he had just messed with me that time, but I need to be more careful about my digital security so it doesn't happen for real. Go check out aura.com slash backfire. That's going to give you a two week free trial so you can see how many data brokers are taking and selling your information. But Aura is a lot more than just checking to see if your passwords are secure online, opting you out of lists and of junk mail and spam online. It also gives you a VPN, parental controls, credit monitoring, and a lot more. So check it out at aura.com slash backfire, or you can click the QR code or the link in the description. On this channel, we mostly talk about bolt action, hunting rifles and precision rifles, but I do enjoy shooting pistols and I have lots of micro nines and things like that. But one gun that is high on my list is the Canik SFX Rival. It's more of a competition focused pistol and it has a lot of really great features for a crazy good price. It's really going up against competition pistols that cost double what it does. You know, it has your flared magwell. It has an amazing trigger with a super short reset. Really impressed me when I played with it. Also it comes in some cool colors. There's the gray with the gold accents that of course everyone would want if you have any sense in your brain, but sad people would also choose the dark side version that has no flare. You guys know I love this gun. A couple million of you watched my video on the, the quietest gun costs $350. 
this is the CVA Scout. And if you have a suppressor, putting it on a CVA Scout will make your cartridge extremely quiet if you're shooting with subsonic ammo because it's a break action, it's a single shot. And because of that, it really keeps the sound contained in here. Whereas, you know, a semi-auto, an AR, something like that makes a lot of clang and noise by opening the action. So this thing is crazy quiet. It's also a takedown, which YouTube won't let me show you here. It's hammer fired. You'll see that there. It's just a cool, basic gun. I love the CVA Scout because it's only $350. They generally shoot well, packable. It's just a perfect truck gun, around the ranch gun. I really enjoy mine. At SHOT Show this year, High Point announced the JXP-10. It's a 10 millimeter handgun that is the most blue collar way you could possibly dispatch a grizzly bear. If you have hunts this fall where you're gonna be in grizzly country, a lot of guys wanna pick up a 10 mil to be shooting with during the summer so you're ready for those fall hunts so you can protect yourself well, this is the cheapest way you can get into a 10 millimeter handgun. It's only $200. Now, holding it like it's the cheapest looking junk gun ever, but high points have been proven to be extremely reliable. Plus, it comes with a lifetime warranty, not just for the original purchaser, but the third, fourth, fifth purchaser of that gun, lifetime warranty on it. And I had to laugh when I looked at it because on their website, it has features announced like last round locks open. Nice. You'll see in my mostly AR section, one of these things does not look like the other. This one is a fabulous looking OD green and it's not an AR at all. In fact, it's not even close to it. This is a Ruger 1022, which in and of itself definitely needs to be on this list. The Ruger 1022 takes the 22 long rifle cartridge and makes it reliable. That's the biggest problem with 22 long rifle is that it just gums up action so much and just won't shoot. Well, the Ruger 1022 has been extremely reliable for many, many years. Over 8 million Ruger 1022s have been sold. This thing one ups it. This is the Trek 22 from Desert Tech. It's an incredible gun. This thing is just the chassis, so your regular Ruger 1022 just clips inside of it, and it turns it into a sweet bullpup. So you have your magazine back here, your, um, your charging port here, and then your trigger is, of course, in the front. I featured this one on the coolest guns under $300. If you haven't seen that video, that's up next for you. I wanted to call this video, you know, 10 guns that should cost more than they do because all of these guns are incredible values and some of these are just a couple hundred bucks. This next gun is actually very expensive, but it's an amazing value for what you're getting. So if you build a custom rifle like this, here's my 7PRC that I built. Well, $1,500 for the chassis, $1,300 for a nice premium action, $200 for a trigger, $1,000 for a barrel, you got put a scope and a suppressor on it, you're over $6,000. But look down here, this is the Fierce Reaper. Specifically, this one is the Mountain Reaper, but the Fierce Reaper itself is very similar. It's a similar form factor that has a folding stock here. They're both incredibly lightweight. They come in a whole bunch of configurations. You can choose your barrel length and the cartridge, everything like that. And so you look at this and you say, well, this is half the cost of that. And what have, like, what have I lost? Like I can still choose all the cool new cartridges are available. You can choose your barrel length, everything. Plus a lot of these uh, more, what we call semi custom rifles, are just gonna have things a lot more dialed than a gunsmith doing producing one of that gun. And so this one is more of a category. If you're wanting to get, you know, your, your one gun that you wanna last the rest of your life for a hunting rifle, look at options from Christensen, Fierce, and Springfield, like the Springfield 2020 Waypoint. Those are in the semi-custom realm. You may find to be better guns than your custom for half the price. This one is the Browning Buckmark. 
My kids call this thing Goldfinger because of the gold trigger. With the silencer, it's crazy quiet. I'm gonna show this to you in a upcoming video. But the 22 that I want to specifically mention here is the Taurus TX22. This one won our best, we did like eight 22LR pistols, a competition to see which one was best. That video a million of you saw, but now you can't find it on YouTube because YouTube deleted it. They actually made me delete 10% of all of my videos. If you're in Backfire Plus that we just announced a couple weeks ago, you get all the banned YouTube videos, courses, the podcast, everything in there. So check out Backfire Plus. But the Taurus TX22 is an awesome gun. I mean, it's under $300 and you get so many things. You get the Performance Trigger System, PTS is what they call it. Um, but it is a really good quality trigger. Even in the compact form that I tested it in, we got really impressive accuracy out of that thing. 16 plus one, it feeds very, very reliably in 22, even as it's getting pretty dirty. The Taurus TX22 is a great deal. And I might just mention as an aside, Taurus makes some other great guns for inexpensive prices. I used to own a G3C, you know, a, a, sub, uh, a subcompact 9mm handgun, and it's a great carry gun for just a couple hundred dollars. Taurus TX22 and the G3C are worth your consideration. This is the Franke Momentum. I've talked about this one a, quite a bit recently, so I won't belabor it, but if you're looking for an inexpensive hunting rifle in that five, six hundred dollar range, I really love the Franke Momentum. In fact, I kind of like the standard Franke Momentum more than the Elite, because the Elites often get really heavy. They do have nice stocks, but they add a lot of weight. This is a lightweight hunting rifle. It feeds perfectly every single time. It's just a good quality hunting rifle for whatever chambering you're looking for. I'm dual wielding for this one. You might say, wait a minute, those are the same gun. How come you're showing me the same gun twice? This is the CVA Scout centerfire rifle, single shot that I showed you earlier. This one is not a centerfire rifle at all. This is the CVA Optima, and you can tell by this rod underneath, this is a muzzle loader. For just 200 bucks, you can put yourself in hunting seasons that nobody else applies for. I mean, you may have a quarter the number of people applying for tags in a muzzle loader season compared to the center fire rifle season. And so if you're having trouble getting tags, go pick up a CVA Optima and some buckhorn powder and you could shoot really impressive groups by loading this with modern modern black powders. It just shoots really well, an inexpensive gun. Definitely check this one out. Thanks for checking out this list of the coolest guns that should cost more than they do. If I've missed something, tell me in the comments.